Hello and welcome to Midwest Tech Training. I'm going to try to eliminate confusion around really the three simplest instructions you'll ever use. Um, and you know, really thanks to Helen Bradley, they've created a lot of the confusion by calling this examine if closed and calling this examine if open and calling this output energize or OTE. Now I guess in their defense, if you go to their instruction help and read about these instructions, you'll see it says or normally closed instead of examine off and if I look at the XIC bit it'll say or normally open now that's uh, a lot easier way to describe it and in Modicon PLC programming they just call this an open contact and closed contact and they call this a coil and I highly recommend you do the same that's what I do in all my classes now. We don't even, uh, other than talk about the fact that when you hover over it, it's XIC or XIO. Um, beyond that, throughout the whole class, we call this the open contact, closed contact, and coil. And um, and the good way to think about these that makes it uh, make the most sense is if you think about this as an if and think about this as an if not. So the open contact, think of it as if, and the closed contact, think of it as if not. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now with this Logix Pro Simulator. Um, you definitely should have this CD if you are trying to learn PLC programming. You know, even though it's not Logix 5000, it's only 500. You can really get all, almost all your basics down with this, and even beyond the basics with this. So this I/O simulator is a perfect spot to demonstrate the if and if not concept. So um, open contact, I call that if. Close contact, I call that if not. And we'll put a coil here and a coil here which will be our light bulbs so we're going to use this switch which they have address 00, zero or input 0 we're going to use that address for both of these I'm going to call it switch 0 and I'm going to use these first two lights I'll call this light zero. And I'll call this light one. Light one. Okay. <clears throat> Now, remember, this is the same input address, input 0. This is looking at this switch, but the light bulbs are separate. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. I'm go online and go to run. So you'll see if I have switch 0, then I'll have light 0. So if switch 0, then light 0. If not switch zero, then light one. Remember, if, if not. So let's do if not switch zero, then light one. And, uh, you know, this is, I think, the easiest way to explain this. Um, if you look at a, a live Logix 500 pro, I shouldn't say live program, but a snapshot of this program. This is some of the code that I use in my class. So here's all the ifs, right? Uh, if the selector is to auto and start push, this is an actual input to the PLC. If we have that input, and if not a fault with the I.O., and if not a communication fault, then we'll turn this output on. So again, you know, it gets confusing when you're looking at these and these are tied to coils somewhere else, but you just think of these as if not and an if, and uh, I think it clears up a lot of the confusion. And if you get the simulation CD, you know you can mess around with this I/O simulator. And again, if then I'll put zero. If not, then I'll put one. So I hope that helps. 
Um, certainly use instruction help when you're trying to figure these things out. And just play around on your own and um, things will be a lot easier for you. So thanks for listening.